Hi travelers, welcome aboard to my channel. My name is Gloria and I'm in Norway. And since I'm here, a lot of people have wrote me to ask me how to come to Norway, like if it's expensive and how to save money to travel in Nordic countries. So in today's video, I want to show you the supermarkets I have found in Norway, which are the cheapest and the best tricks to save money while you are here. And also one way to have free food in Norway. Yeah, yeah, you heard me right. Free food in Norway. So if you don't want to miss any of my videos, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And now, let's start. Before coming to Norway, I was very curious about how are the supermarkets here, like what are the prices and how much money do you need per month to eat on a healthy way. I am vegetarian for the last 8 months, so for me meat is not on my food list, but I will also show you what are the prices for different types of food, from the basic to something more international. Due to the job I was doing in Norway that you can check up in the cards where I explained what I was doing but I was visiting a lot of those supermarkets every day and I was so surprised for the names they have like some are called Kiwi, Rema 1000 which looks like Rema 1000, Joker, Boompri, Scoop Mega or 7-Eleven which are the most common and you can find them everywhere. So now let's start with Rema 1000 that means Rema 1000 because they have 1000 items inside. The first thing you have to notice is next to the name of the supermarket there are some numbers. The first number it says the time they open from Monday to Friday and some supermarkets they open during the weekends and they specify it with the numbers between brackets. So this one it opens on Sunday from 8 till 9. Yes, when you enter in the supermarket you notice all the fruit and vegetables are organized perfectly, they have shiny and bright colors. The peppers are so colorful that they look even like plastic food because they are just perfect. One of the tricks I found in Rema Dawson is that they have some bananas which are getting like brown on some spots and they are sold by one crown. Yeah, only one crown. So if you take a couple you can have fresh bananas that inside they are perfect and just outside they look a bit damaged but it's totally okay. When you are buying vegetables like onions or potatoes are better to buy it individually rather than in a package and you will save money like that. One of the things that surprised me was this bread machine that there is in every supermarket and it's just to slice the bread and then you put it in a plastic bag and just take it home. The food in Norway is quite expensive due to all the taxes, most of the food is imported and the high salaries here. But don't get scared because of it because you can have a good diet and eat varied food without spending so much money. But for example, one kilo and a half of chicken breast is 130 krons, which is 13 euros. There are some Norwegian products that are very cheap and you can find it everywhere. One of them is this potato bread, which looks like crepes, and it's perfect for sandwiches when you go hiking and to have uh, snacks during the day. And they are really cheap. I also noticed that the eggs are quite expensive. Coming from Spain, we use eggs all the time for every meal and here one dozen of eggs it was 40 crowns. In Norwegian supermarkets you can't buy alcohol, just beers and just before 6 pm even on weekends and never on Sunday. So you have to make your purchase ahead. Even single cans of half liter in the supermarket they cost for a Guinness 42 crowns and Pilsner Ulger 40 crowns. I even found this festival beer that has one liter and it's huge. One of the ways to save money is to buy the supermarket brand. Rema Dawson has their own products like tomato paste and cereal like family size so you can save money on that way too. One of the supermarkets I was going every week is called Holbert and it can be found in some places. One is in Jesheim when I was living near Oslo and they sell expired or damaged products which make them cheaper and they are still in good conditions. My favorite things to buy there it was this mozzarella calzone which was 49.90 crowns this cheddar cheese for only one crown which was great to put it in pizza or for sandwiches it smells amazing also this 
seed bread it was great because it was frozen so you can use as much as you want and it was just 12.90 crowns also you want to try Norwegian food one of the typical things is brown cheese which has caramel and here you can buy it for 45 crowns and one of the things I was eating quite often it was these fish burgers and it's great for dinner even in salad with some roasted potatoes and onion oh just amazing I even found Spanish products like this mini jamón for 249 olive oil for 39 crowns which is amazing and really good price and even rice for paella and even with the paellera just for 349 crowns but one of the good things of Hover is that you can find a lot of different products like food, also books, sweets but it depends on the time there's some products that they are not always there so if you find something you like yes, buy a couple because it's gonna be gone next time but as I have told you Norwegian supermarkets, they don't have like a wide variety of products they have only like three types of foods like cereals, milk and even cookies so sometimes if you want to find some international food there's this immigrant shop like usually like Turkish or Asian shops which they have different spices, tea, noodles, rice, lentils, flour from India, Morocco and other international countries so it's very good if you want to get other products and also for vegetables they always have fresh fruits and vegetables and on a very good price so remember to check them and you will find even food from your own country but sometimes supermarkets are closed or you are on the road and you want to buy some food and gas stations are another option and there is a gas station called Circle K and they have these cups where you can buy one cup a year and fill it up as many times as you want for only 299 crowns and it's such a good price and the coffee was really good another of the top highlights of those gas stations were these sausage hot dogs where my friends were having it all the time because they were just 10 crowns which is such a good deal and you can put like mustard and ketchup I don't know, they were having it all the time so I guess it was really good another thing it surprised me is that Norwegians were having ice cream all the time all year long even if it was cold or raining outside something that for me as a Spanish we just have it in summer, no? how is it in your countries? just let me know in the comments do you have ice cream all year long? one of the things I have to mention is here supermarkets they are not only to buy food they are also having different services like post office you can send and receive packages there also you can play national lottery there and almost all the shops they have these recycling machines and in Norway recycling is such a big deal and everyone does it so mainly these machines are to recycle cans, plastic bottles and glass bottles from all the drinks so you just have to clean the bottle, put it inside the machine it will scan the code and just swallow inside for every can you receive some money and at the end you can either choose to get that money refund when you buy food in that supermarket you can also get cash money or you can even donate that money to Red Cross or different ONGs as I told you, in Norwegian supermarkets you can't buy alcohol there are a special shop called Be Monopolet where you can buy stronger alcohol like wine and liquors always check the time they open because sometimes on weekends they close at 3 p.m. so you have to go early they usually have the drinks organized by the different type like red wines, white wines and from the region they are from Spain, Italy, Germany but I have to warn you alcohol in Norway is so expensive like it's a good place not to drink alcohol because you can spend a lot of money even in the shops so imagine outside here was the first time I saw selling wine on boxes and they have this plastic bag inside with a tap and you can serve yourself which is quite nice for parties and as I told you at the beginning I'm gonna tell you the way how we got free food in Norway maybe it sounds weird for you but we were doing dumpster diving I've never heard about it before coming here but it's quite simple supermarkets at the end of the day they throw away a lot of food which are like damaged or it doesn't look good enough 
and they throw it in containers outside. So in order to save some money, we were going in the night to check these containers. It's not really illegal, but at the same time, it's not very legal to do it. But we were having so much food. Every time we were going, there were like fruit, vegetables, and sometimes you can't even see any problem in those food. So we were taking it home, cleaning it well, checking the expiry date, and cooking some less food with it. We found so much food from meat to salmon and fish and milk, yogurt, eggs, fruits, amazing, like pineapples, avocados all the time, bread, oh man, it was so crazy to see how much food they were throwing away just because it has like a spot in one of the fruits or whilst we even found like 50 bars of chocolate which was expired like two weeks but come on it's chocolate there's nothing wrong with it i really recommend you to try it and at least to think about it how much food are we throwing away and to have a more responsible time when you are buying because we don't need that much food it's better to buy every day what we need even every two three days instead of buying a whole trolley for one week and then throw it away because we haven't eaten it. I have to admit the supermarkets in Norway they don't have like such a wide variety with what I'm used to in the supermarkets in Spain but I have to admit they are everywhere so there's even supermarket next to a supermarket in front of a supermarket which is maybe too much for the amount of people that live here also they are very good discount if you look for them like there is in Coop supermarket four pastries for 35 crowns so we were having that a lot for breakfast and Sunday snack while we were driving I I also like that they have this self service for nuts, chocolate and candies and after all I ate really good when I was here especially when we were doing dumpster and I was cooking for myself which is a very good way to have a healthy diet and to eat all the things I need so I hope you like this video also tell me what are your tips and tricks to save money in the supermarket. Leave them on the comments below. Also remember to give thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. See you next week. Ciao!